Well, I got some water. Starting to warm up in here now. Fill the wood box up. It's a whopping five degrees. <laughs> oh. And I tell you, right now, do not buy do not buy minus fifty muck boots. They are brutal. Right now, my feet are tingling because they're just starting to warm up a bit. And uh, you know that's three hours on the snowmobile. Probably about minus forty, roughly minus thirty-seven, minus forty coming here. And it's the first time in many years my feet have been chilly. I bet you they would have been warmer with my wide track because of the running boards have the cooling fins underneath them and they actually keep my feet a little bit warm. Uh, not that I need it with my other boots that uh, are all worn out now. But these things are going back. I'm just get. I'm just waiting to uh, heat up my other boots. I'm going to toss those on. So uh, that's absolutely brutal. So don't buy minus 50 muck boots if you uh, trap in these conditions like I do. That's for sure. Pork steak just about ready. I'm actually having a hot chocolate for a change. I drink too much tea and coffee in the evening here, and I honestly can't sleep at night sometimes. And that is not good when you're out in the land. You gotta be uh, gotta be alert. Repair I can come up with them right now, just duct tape. I tried a needle, I couldn't push it through the heavy uh, rubber on there without bending the needle. I wasn't going to wreck another needle. So that's pretty good actually. Good old duct tape, see how it holds up. As long as no snow gets in there, that's all I uh. I want to keep out. Come on. Bourbon. Well, looks like you got a nice white. It's a beautiful day, but it's, uh, it's windy. It was only minus eight when I left, so good to have some nice weather for a change. Every time you see me wearing this little jacket, you know it's nice out. We got Wolverine number three. Sweet. Looks like a nice size too. Yeah. 
is another big one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. man, is he dark. Look at that. Holy crap, that's another good sized Wolverine. Sweet. All right, Wolverine number four. And this is the last 330 box. Nice. He looks like a big guy, too. Oh. Oh. He looks like a nice crown on this one. Oh yeah, another big guy. What a crown, holy smokes. Get him out, take a peek. Right on North Knife River. Nice. Yeah, just cut a tree and dragged it over here. Nothing goes far and caught in the 330. And uh, that's pretty sweet. Look at that. Look at that crown. Ho, ho, ho. That's a, that's a beauty. Oh, another big one. There you go. Sweet. Bags. Look at that. Before I caught that Wolverine, this is in a tree. He peeled this back and took the bait. I'll fix that up. Long day. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's freaking a long day on the snowmobile. Well, it was sure nice to get a caribou today in that temperature. Ho oh, oh. ho! I'm in my cozies now. Ooh, and stink like date a little bit, but <laughs> a little lure. But uh, it's coming off slowly. Oh, that steak, potatoes. The pancake. Pretty awesome. Just about time to crank that light off. Well, my 
birds were sitting on here. And I always make at least a half a pancake mortar for them. Come on. Come on. Gotta make that noise and they all usually come. There you are. Breakfast. What a beautiful morning. Minus 10. It's gonna be uh, another decent day to trap, that's for sure. Going on the south side of this ridge, I can see from my cabin and so far, ho oh, oh, ho, caribou everywhere. Well, tracks. Uh, Martin tracks in the bush. So the bush is a lot wider here than I thought it was. It really stretches out south. So I'm putting a, I'm just gonna trap the area, see what I get. About a, about every half a mile I'm putting a 220 and a Martin box and I'll see what it how it produces the ridge isn't that big I think it's maybe four or five miles at the very most so I'm kind of it's got uh, it's got bush lines that run out into the tundra and I got to come back in here and it's a little bit too thick to go through there and plus, I don't got my wide track, so I don't like doing that without my wide track. Well, we got a nice cross fox today in this one. That's a nice cross, man. Look at that. Beauty. Huh? Go to Martin over here. This is where I got that uh, Arctic fox last time. And uh, I seen some tracks coming here after we just caught that cross. And uh, the Martin must be fresh because you should have eaten this Martin. Still thawed, so yeah, I must have caught him after that the fox passed. But I'll leave him in there. No big deal. Got lots of traps. Well, freaking wolf. Here's that freaking Arctic that probably ate that Martin. And uh, then the wolf came and ate him. Garbage. Yeah, ate his head. Yeah. Uh, this is where I got that wolverine. Wolf was coming here and I went, I'll never get the wolf in the trap. But uh, I got that arctic that was eating all the, eating my Martin again. Son of a bitch. Take my wire, I have a wire here and I just I just keep the legs out of my way. That way you know I'm not fighting and uh not fighting with them in my way and make a mistake. There you go, isn't that a sweet pelt? Got the door open, it's so freaking hot in here man, it's like 27 in here. There we go. Okay, let me roll that up. And uh, freeze it. I'm too freaking tired. It's enough. <laughs> freaking exhausted, man.
Okay, here it is. Probably just a small female. Look how darky she is. I'm pretty sure it's a female. So, not much of a crown, that's for sure. Beautiful day out there. What a fur stick, eh? I don't know. I'm thinking this one might be good for parka trim or mine. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I'll check out all of her claws and see if anything's broken. I'm not sure yet. Just thought I'd give you guys a peek. Brushed them up real nice. Clean them up. Got all the blood out of there. Anything on the fur, but uh, put a nice uh, wire on here so just so I can get it off here and I can have a nice straight cut down the foot. Okay, I'm all done. Man, this hook was actually real good. You can let it down instead of grabbing the wire. I'll think of something. But I think next time we'll use a uh, rope. Freaking wire, man. It's hard in your hands if something happens. Oop. Okay, I didn't uh, cut myself there. No. Just a ripped glove probably on his nail or something. Anyway, there we go. 40 inches. I measured them. From the tip of the nose to the base of the tail. 40 inches. I still haven't stretched them. So I'm going to roll them up nice and tight. I want them to get freezer burnt. Well, that's it. I'm done. It's 8 o'clock. All the fur is done. That means I brought in enough fur to do for the day. Because uh, that was enough. <laughs> that last one was like, I, you know, go from the hardest to the easiest because you're always tired at the end of the day. So, last one was a little Martin. And uh, hardly any fat on the Martin. So, it was pretty quick to board that. machines warming up fueled up oil is good well, I've got some bonus fur two boxes finally produced on the way home <laughs> that's nice finally Caught a cross fox, but his uh, the middle of his tail, all the fur is gone. So maybe something was at him. Not sure. <laughs>